Welcome to this tutorial on how to make a free website using BraveNet.com. To get started, please click on Join BraveNet and fill in all the information. We're going to use Tutorial 1 Cartoon Point. This is what you're going to use to log in. First name. That's my current account, you know, for Cartoon Point. Email. I'm gonna use a temporary email since I'm not gonna be using this account just for tutorial. Put that email in. Use a put in a password. Rejoin BraveNet. This is just an ad. Just don't worry about it. See the members area. Now you're gonna have to validate your account before you can start building your website. That's the uh, rule for free, uh, BraveNet, and uh, you have to do it. So I'm gonna wait here until get, I can validate it. And the email is here, BraveNet account confirmation. Just click on the thing. Skip this. Don't need that. Continue to members area. Now, if you want free web hosting, you gotta click on this. But if you wanna pay to get more features and no ads, it's five dollars a month. But I recommend this for beginners. So we're gonna click on that. Okay, now click on a build a new website, then use a subdomain, and we're going to pick tutorial one cartoon point. This isn't how it's supposed to look like, but there's something wrong with the computer, and it's not working. It's already taken, people. All right, we'll use two at the end. All right, uh, location F5. All right, then let's go back to account manager. F5. Then you gotta, once you get the tutorial logged in, just go back to your account manager, click on free websites, click on this. Okay, the easiest way to edit a BraveNet website is using a visual editor because you want to use a text editor, you're gonna have to use uh, HTML. And if you're not familiar with HTML, it's gonna be really, really hard for you. So we're gonna get a web template first. Uh, they have a lot of templates here, a lot of unique ones, very useful for all kinds of websites. I'm just going to use a simple one, same one I use for Cartoon Point. Uh, if you want, if you're starting, yeah, you can replace uh, index.html and it's going to replace that. Def when you get your website, it's set default to a temporary page. BraveNet puts a temporary page there for you to use. In case you don't ever make it, uh, then you click on text and visual editor. Then right click on index.html, click on visual editor. Make that smaller. Alright. Now, this language is on the bottom is Latin. This is not what we're going to use, so just if you want to delete it, just delete it. I'm just going to delete all this stuff. Just put one simple thing here. Yes. And then that's it. Oh, that's not a flaw. Then you click on uh, save. Save your website. Got it. Okay. And now I'm going to give you some tips on how to use this, the editor. If you want to create a link, you got to highlight, then create link. Okay. And insert image. Okay. When you insert an image, you're going to have to click on it. Like, it has to be an HTML, uh, like uploaded image. So I recommend using photo bucket, upload, upload the image, get the URL, put it in here, and you got an image. Uh, add, that's a horizontal rule. I was going to put a line underneath the text, add table, just, you know, a simple table, how, how, like, how you want it to be, insert table. That's the table, and you can make it smaller or bigger. Um, embed a web tool. This is, like... The BraveNet features. You, there's a lot of tools you can use for free, of course, but they have some limitations. Uh, Vocaster, if you want to poll, web ring, web poll, another poll, password protect. They can't get on the page without you a password, you know. A guest book, people to fill it in, free links, whatever, you know, message forum. We don't need that, so container properties, and it's just gonna 
like background color. If I you pick a background color and its background is you know green, sell attributes whatever. This is the how to change the font is A. This is save to save the page. This is save as. I'm sure you, you're all from familiar with this. Save as, save as something else. Index one. And then that's to add a new page. If you want to add a new page to your website, that's you know undo, redo, whatever. That's it.